trust me. Be better off this way. There's been a breach on one of the upper floors. I'm not sure how many hostiles, but I've got at least one man down. I'm on my way. Time for you and your men to prove yourself. Don't move! Give me the key to the cell. Now. Yeah. Shepard! Shepard! Best night. Next time, make my head. Trust me, we haven't got time for this. Why should I trust you? Does it look like me and him are on the same side? I can get you back to your friends, but we have to go now. I swear I'm telling the truth.
fuck happened to you? I got held up. That's becoming a habit. Come on. Where now? This way. Come on. Come on. stop them just as much as you. Who are they? What do they want? They want to stop Coleridge. Wait, you know about him? I only just found out a few hours ago, but we had to do some digging. We know why he's here now. So do they. Stay here. I'm gonna check to see if it's clear. But if they stop him, how are we gonna stop the invasion? We don't. I don't understand. Why would anyone want an attack to happen? He's working with them. Hey. We think they're controlling people inside the government. Human army. Marks on the neck. You know about them. It's all good. Come on, it's this way. <clears throat> Disappointment, Carl. You know that? There's a war coming, and you chose the wrong side, mate. Take it to the station. But what about you? I'll be fine. Just be careful. There's one of them here. One of what? One of them. It's what we had locked away in the warehouse, but it escaped. It'll try and get back to his ship. How do we defeat it? It's an organic life form, just like us. Done. Uh, I'm here. What's happened? Still trying to work that out. Anything 
being hurt. Ah, my arm, I think, is stuck. I'll do the belt. You for his arm. Chloe! Yeah. Ah! family member today. I wasn't gonna lose another. Can't these morons bloody drive? They'll just do the law of you. I think we've got bigger things to worry about now, Nicole. You've been drinking, Stephen. Hey, he just saved us. If he didn't swerve when he did, it could have been much worse. Oh, what? Worse than this? You're in shock. We're all emotional right now. We just need to calm down. Somebody help me! Don't me! Come on, come on, do something! I'm trying. What is happening? My Louis Vuitton bag. Really? So the kids. <coughs> get into a hospital. We'll get home now. All okay? What now? Everything changes. The presence of this unidentified ship over Bristol has caused widespread panic in the city. Police and other officials are asking people to return to their homes and wait there until they receive further instructions. Uh, um, now, we are just being informed that the military has scrambled their tornado fighter jets from RAF Boscombe down near Salisbury in Wiltshire and that all military leave has been cancelled with immediate effect. At the moment, we haven't received any reports that any other ships have appeared in other areas of the UK or indeed anywhere else in the world. So speculation is rife as to why Bristol is the chosen city for these visitors. Avon and Somerset police are already reporting mass looting of shops. Looks like your mummy is the right time to go. Supplies because the future so, it's an invasion. Let's go live now to our oh, I, I don't know. Why just here? Surely an invasion will be global. <laughs> Why else are they here? It's an invasion. What are we going to do? Whatever it is. I'd rather hear about it than see it. We leave. And go where? It's perfect. Where? My parents' farm in the country. It's your farm now. You're all welcome to come. I've got to find Kate and Sarah first, and then we leave. Five o'clock should give us enough time. Let's go. Wait! What about my parents? I have to see them. Could they come too? Yeah, of course. They need to make their own way, though. Yeah. Nicole, 
What about you? Have you got anyone you need to see? Uh, no. Your mother was um, my only family. Well, then Mum would want you with us. Right. Come five o'clock. I'm not here. Well, hang Wait. But I'm not here. You go. You get in the car and you leave. Steve. No! You get to the farmhouse, all right? Okay. Nicole, pack whatever's left in the kitchen. We're going to need supplies. You two go to the shops and grab whatever you can. How are you going to find Katie? I've got an app. I'll find her phone if she's online. Does she know about that? Mum's idea. What about Sarah? Hang on, wait! What are we doing? Is this really happening? I think so. There is a lot of speculation online. Did you find her? Don't tell me she's anywhere near that thing. She's right underneath it. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. I'm gonna get her. You can't just go right there on your own. How do you know you're leaving it near the city? I don't. I guess everyone's going in the opposite direction. I'll see you at the farm. Facebook's going crazy. Sounds like everyone's getting out of Bristol. We should go too, we can't stay here. Oh yeah, where should we go then? Look at that thing. They can go anywhere they want to. If they're here to attack us, there's nowhere we can hide. Shut up, Dean. She's right, we're too close. You're kidding me. Whatever this is, I want a front row seat. You want to go running home to your parents, then be our guest. Don't be a dick. You want to join her? I thought you were avoiding family today. Apparently, the government's telling everyone to stay inside and off the streets. Of course they are. They're just trying to control everyone. Meanwhile, I bet all those rich wankers are being evacuated. You watch. I bet they shoot first. Yo, check it out. There's looting going on all over town. We should get down there. You're joking, mate. There'll be nothing left. Listen. Trying to protect me like he can solve the world's problems. It's probably at the bottom of a bottle somewhere. We should probably get some food or something. We can't stay up here forever. We got all we need, right? Where's Tony? I thought he was coming up here. Probably lost. Katie! Stephen, how the hell did you find me? We need to go, Katie, come on. I'm not going anywhere. Look up, it's not safe here. It's not safe anywhere. I'm fine. You take care of yourself. I'm not leaving you here. I'm not a child. You don't need to babysit me. I'm trying to help you. She said she's not going anywhere, mate. Yeah, back off, it's got nothing to do with you. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? None of you should be here. You should be with your families. You, you need to get away from the city. What do you care? can't even keep your own family together, mate. Just get out of here, Stephen. Oh, what's your plan? Stay here, get drunk while the whole world goes to hell? Who would have thought you'd like that idea? Mum would want us all to be together now. Yeah. Well, she's not here, is she? Yeah, I know. I buried her today, remember? Oh, go away, Stephen. No, I've told you. Come on! Leave me alone! No! No! Stop it! <laughs> What are you going to do? Stop us all? No. Just you.
Come on, Katie, we need to go. It's got to be an EMP. What? Electromagnetic pulse. Say, I told you they're invading. Do you think Stephen's okay? Oh, come on, let's go. We need to be back at the house of five. Stay close together. Looks like the whole town beat us here. Just take what you can carry. Water, food, anything that will last. Batteries if there is any. Dad, this is pointless. We should just leave. We need supplies, Nicole. What do you suggest? <laughs> Towards the farm. This way. Dad, Dad, look around you. It's everyone for themselves right now. <laughs> then you should fit right in. Come on, maybe we'll find another handbag. Oh, great, yeah. The book worm and the hostess waitress. It's an unstoppable team. I need to reach my parents. I know. We'll keep trying, but let's just get some food first, okay? Dad, your neck. What? Was that from the accident? Oh, no, I've had that since I was a kid. Guys, can we just go? I don't want to stay any longer than I have to. Wait, back there. Is that a strong room? Let's check it. Oh, what, you don't think anyone else would have thought of that? Look, can we just get going or want to get on the road before these guys do? Fine, get what you can and then meet us back here. Come on. Bet you're glad you got lift for this night, right? Why don't you check over there? I didn't have a choice. I didn't mean for that to happen. People broke into my house. It took everything. Okay. I've got kids, so I've got to feed them. Okay, yeah. okay just, just go. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm going to need your bag too. What? Your bag. Dan? Cleveland! Dan! It's okay, let him go, let him go. Are you alright? Yeah. Move! <gasps>
It's been a long time since I've seen you walk through those doors. I'm looking for Sarah. I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. Are you sure? When I spoke to her on the phone, I, I thought I could hear bells. She's not been here. I have to find her. Perhaps she's on her way. Lots of people have come here for sanctuary. I can't just sit around and wait. Wherever she is, she's not alone. God goes with her, Stephen. Do you really still believe there's a God up there looking down on us? It's impossible to see what the Lord has planned for us. But we must keep our faith now, in our hour of need. He's giving us a chance to return to Him, even those who have strayed in the past. I haven't got time for this. We're on a bit of a tight schedule. How many people are here? Nine. So far. I've been ringing the bell every hour to let people know we're here. It's a small group, but at least we can look out for each other. We have to try and find her. She can't be far. Stephen, she could be anywhere. Where do we even start? I only found you. Follow my finger. Follow my finger. How do you feel? Sick? Dizzy? I'm a bit of a headache, but I'm okay, I guess. Yeah, you're fine. How do you know? I was a medic. Name? Nicole. Nicole. Sanders. Just Sanders. Don't press me on the rest. You must be a city girl. Ah. Yeah. Kind of looks weird. go. Apocalypse chic. This was a 500 pound suit. Uh, are you okay? I, I need your help with something. What happened to you? No. Oh. Conflict of interest. I can't do this. If I could reach it myself, I would. Sorry. What do you do, Nicole? What are you good at? I'm head of corporate development. Sounds important. It's not real. my friends. I couldn't. Nicole, tell me. Do you work harder than most people you know? What? Do you work hard? Yeah. Yeah? And are there many women in your line of work, Nicole? No. And you seem pretty young to be the head of something, so I bet that took some guts. So you know what it takes to make it, to survive. You did that, and you can do this. I can do this. You. Why are they doing this to us? Who? 
Seriously, whoever they are. Here, eat, drink. Aren't you curious? And what have they done? They're not looting. They're not rioting. They didn't put the hole in my back. They're just watching. Just driving us insane. What do you think they want? Who knows? But if they wanted to attack, why haven't they done it yet? Maybe they're looking for something, waiting for something. I don't know. Could be tactics, psychological warfare. I need to make another supply run. Hold on. You should come with me, my friends. We're near somewhere safe and you need rest. Friends of yours? Sort this out. I can't go anywhere like this. Uh, um, hold on. Um, uh... Oh shit, what's the time? What? The time we were supposed to be back at the house at five. Uh, uh, I don't know. The clocks all stopped and the phones went down. Alcohol, the tree in the wind. You're just gonna have to pull it. What? <laughs> if you can work it here, you can handle this, right? Okay, okay. It's no choice, Chloe. I'm gonna count to three. Yeah. One. Mm. Two. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of my Twitter. He's a stun! We can get through this.
<laughs> Damn, we want to keep pressure on the wound. Just find out what you can we can get out of here. Hey, what's this, man? It looks like a cellar. I don't want to be here if they open it up. Let's keep moving. Your friends are waiting.
We need a car. Drop more canisters. Watch her. Are you leaving? I have to try and get back to my squadron. And you said she was just lying in the road. I wish I could tell you more. I thought she was dead at first. You have some place you can go? Yeah, family farm in the country. Safest place I could think of. And get there as soon as you can. They can't stay quiet forever. What are they? We don't know. Have you got a family? Right now I'm trying not to think about that. <gasps> Thank you. Good luck. Sarah, you okay? What happened? What happened? It's okay. It's me, Stephen. Stephen, what the hell are you doing here? I told you I didn't want to see you. What happened to me? Where are we? Do you remember what happened to you after the funeral? What funeral? This is it. It doesn't look like there's anybody else here yet. don't remember. Remember what? What's the last thing you do remember? Hanging up on you. A lot's happened since then. What do you think happened to her? It's crazy. It's almost exactly like that. Dan. You weren't born then. Dan was five, six. I was a teenager, a little bit younger than you. Your mum had just married my dad a week before and he just disappeared. <laughs> Dan? Dan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. two days. Mum called the police. So she thought I had something to do with it. He never told me. Because he doesn't remember. He was too young. Two days after he vanished, he just reappeared. We found him in the barn. He couldn't remember where he'd been. He was a little bit dehydrated, but apart from that, he was fine. It was like nothing ever happened. Where did he go? What was that? We need to go. Now. Wait. It sticks in second.
What's going on? I don't know. It's doing something. Chloe! You made it! Well, who the hell's that? No, no, it's okay. It's with me.
Sanders teach you that? Old army saying, apparently. I was drilled into him during basic training. Do you think he's coming back? I said this wasn't for him. We still don't know what's out there. Yeah, well, I don't know much about him. But one thing I do know, he can take care of himself. I think he was just more used to being alone. I used to think the same about you. So did I. Here, you should try. Do you really think it's necessary? We saw what's happening in the city. But we're here now, we're safe. But we don't know that for sure. I mean, like you said, we're lucky to have this place. It's a, well, it's a sanctuary, shelter. Others may try and take it for themselves. That sounds like him talking. Yeah, well, it's good advice. Go on, it's not loaded. Whose is it? I found it locked up in the house. It must have belonged to Stephen's dad. Do you think Stephen made it? I hope so. How's Dan holding up? He's worried, but there's something else. He, he seems distracted. What do you mean? Dan, what are you doing? I'm going to look for Stephen. It's not a good idea. He said to stay, we should wait. I can't wait anymore. It's been too long. Yeah, all the more reason why we should stick together. He's my brother, Nicole. Oh, Dan, stop. I need to go back. What? I need to go back to the city. What? Why? I wish I knew. Look, these dreams I've been having, they're more than just nightmares. I don't know how to explain it. We only just got out. And now you want to go back to that? Do you trust me? Of course. This is something I need to do. Look, Dan, we all miss him, OK? But we nearly lost each other before. We shouldn't split up. I'm not going to argue about this, OK? I'll take the main road back toward the city. That's the way he would have come. If there's no sign by the time it gets dark, I'll come back. Yeah, and what if you don't? He'd do it for us. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be alone. I just said I'm fine. Chloe, I'm not asking you to do that. And I'm not asking permission. She's right. You shouldn't be alone, whatever this is. I can't take you with me. So stop me. Just be back before nightfall. Are you sure about this? There's something I need to tell you about the dreams. Jesus.
butcher your coat. Do you want yours? Suit yourself. You should drink. You're gonna need your voice. We told you it was an accident. We came off the road. The priest who gave us that car didn't tell us it was a piece of shit. You wouldn't be the first to try and take this place. Our tire blew up. We weren't trying to attack you. This place, this place is more than just an old farm, isn't it? It's something important. I don't know! Tell me the truth! But Leave her alone! Just let us go. We don't want your farm. Thanks to you, I've lost almost everything. Well, that makes two of us, doesn't it? Her name was Sarah Wells. She was a school teacher. What? Stephen. The woman you killed. My sister. She liked cooking, traveling. Her favorite place was India. She taught my brother how to ride a bike. Quiet down. She saved my life. Your guilt trip's not gonna work. I was protecting my land. From what? Why is he doing this to us? It's okay. We'll get out of this. Maybe someone will find us. You would have been safer if I had left you where you were. Oh, don't say that. Well, it's true. You said she saved your life. What do you mean? It's not always as simple as stopping someone falling or pulling you out of the water. Although sometimes it felt a bit like that. Sometimes it's just reminding you there's something left to live for. Stephen, your jacket. What? The knife. Okay. Uh, right, push, push your feet right up, right up against you. And lean right back against me and together we'll stand up, right? Okay. One, two, three, go. Turn around, turn around. Why are you even carrying a knife around? Long story. Well, I guess I just done my escape from a psychopath badge. Tracy, run! Open the door! The window, go, run! I'm not leaving you! I'll be right behind you. Go! On the count of three, I'm gonna blow a hole in this door. One, two,
I didn't mean to kill her. It was an accident. Yeah. But here we are now. Huh? You still think this place is so special? His name was Michael. He wanted to be an astronaut. We used to look at the stars together through that telescope. He was eight years old when he was taken from me. Asthma attack. Just like that. No reason for it. Kill me. It's just pain now. You pull that trigger, there'll be nothing. But up there, up there, he's definitely something. Because you're right, there's nothing special about this place. minute 32 seconds precisely more tea ah you must be Stephen it's a pleasure to meet you Too late. Katie's upstairs. He said anything? Not yet. Right, start talking. <laughs> Amazing. Forgive me, so much has changed since I've been away. Away? Who the hell are you? So sorry, the, the name's Edward. Edward Coleridge. <laughs> Oh! What's with the Jane Austen outfit? A delightful author. Please forgive my intrusion. This has all happened so suddenly. What has? I'm afraid we've not much time. Please, sit down. Not until you explain what's going on. It's been a bit of a tough week. So much to tell you. I'm not even sure I know where to begin. Well, where are you from? Up there. Our friends in the sky. Friends? Yes, despite what you might think, with nothing to fear from them. You're telling us you come from the ship. That's right, and they're here to protect us. But you're human. Of course. I am from this Earth. They took me... Gosh, must be 160 years ago now. 160 years? You weren't supposed to meet them just yet. You expect us to believe you've been on that ship for almost 200 years? You must believe. The future of the human race depends on it. Sadly, they and we are not the only inhabitants of this universe. Other ships are on the way, and they do not harbour good intent. This is crazy. You've seen them, haven't you? In your dreams. 
Dan? They're not dreams, Dan. It's the future. At least it could be. Unless we stop them. Wait a minute. I saw that thing take out a plane. That was regrettable. But we had no choice. We were under attack and had to act fast. The safest defence was to shut down the power. Hundreds could have died in that crash. We're here to save millions. What do you know about what's happening to me? You were taken. Just like me. Unfortunately, not by the same race. The others have been taking people from this planet for years. Infecting them. Preparing them for their arrival. What do you mean, preparing them? When it happens, they'll have a human army just ready and waiting. Now that they're closer, the infection is setting in. Soon, it'll have complete control. What are you saying? This tracks extraterrestrial life. It's how I found you. I'm not an alien. Not yet. They almost had you once before, in the basement. We managed to slow it down, but there's only so much they can do from up there. If you want to stop it completely, we have to destroy those ships before they arrive. How? With this. You're insane. Actually, I don't think he is. A few weeks ago, that first ship would have sounded pretty crazy. Two more, right? Red lights over the city. That's right. They're calling you. I am telling the truth. Believe me, I wish I weren't. So these others you say that are coming, what do they want? This planet and they don't like to share. An invasion. So what are we gonna do? They've been here once before, hundreds of years ago. There was a scout ship that crashed. If we can get to it, we can stop them. How long do we have? Hours, not days. So this ship, where is it? Underneath the station. But first, you need to get me to the chapel. Katie? How are you doing? Who's that man downstairs? Why is he here? He's here to save the world. I can talk about coming, is there? Absolutely not. So, just to confirm, aliens exist and they sent a 200-year-old man down to Earth to save us from even worse aliens that want to take over the planet. How does that sound to you? You said you saw it. If that's true, so is all the other stuff he said about what's inside of me. Hey. We'll beat this. I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth before. I'd have come with you anyway. Ah! I'm ready. I want you to stay here with Katie. What? Stephen, I'm no. not putting her in danger again. I can't leave her alone. I need someone with her. You might need help. Help me by staying. Please. And then you might need this. Come back for you. I promise. I promise. Stop. 
So, what's in this chapel? The key to everything. If it's still there, we can stop this attack from happening and save your brother. <clears throat> Day four. The subject remains unresponsive. Vital show it's been struggling to adjust to our atmosphere since we induced consciousness. Reports from inside the city are intermittent. All attempts at contact have been unsuccessful. Resuming interrogation. 1100 hours, October 25th. We know this is not the first time you visited our planet. What do you want from us? Why are you here? When you came here, what was your objective? Is this an attack? Why set off the EMP? We've examined the gas. We know it's not toxic. What does it do? Why did you come to Bristol? Still nothing. Any word from HQ? No. Communications are still down, but I'm trying to fix them. Then we proceed. But what? This is going nowhere. Until we hear otherwise, our objective doesn't change. It's non-responsive. We should be out there in the city, helping. With what? An evacuation? Look at that thing! There's a reason it came here in the first place. We've kept it alive knowing something like this might happen. Now it's our job to find out the truth before it's too late. What truth? It's been on ice for over a hundred years. Exactly! Years of experiments and analysis, nothing. That ship breaks our atmosphere and all its fathers go through the roof. He knows something. I've got family in this city. People that I care about. Well then you're doing this for them. <sighs> Maybe it's time we tried a different approach. Just what I had in mind. Easy boys, easy. We're all on the same side. What the hell's this? Changing of the guard. Changing of the guard. Who are you? Brennan, is it? So everyone appreciates the work if you don't here, but we feel it might be necessary to expedite things a little. We're doing fine. Remind me, what happened to the last of your security detail? Homeless man with a shotgun, wasn't it? And a block of Semtex. We think he was military? Ah. If only we could have foreseen the intervention of one disgruntled serviceman. They didn't see anything. Are you sure? As reassuring as that is, we thought it might be prudent to track them down. Surveillance captured the car they left in, and our people are following it as we speak. And who exactly are your people? No thanks necessary. Or about this one? Capable? <laughs> Looks like he just walked out of a recruitment centre. You go with Cross here. He and his team will track the car. He stays with me. I'm afraid that's no longer your decision. It should tell you everything you need to know. Let's go, soldier. Watch your back. She doesn't look like much of a threat. He. Sorry? You think he's actually a male? 
Or at least it was when we first captured it. Turns out they can change their appearance. Fascinating. It may seem innocent, but that thing killed two people before we got it in the cage. No weapons. Just did it with his bare hands. How long's it been awake? Sorry, and you are? You can leave your equipment, we'll review the tapes. Now, wait a minute, if you think I'm gonna walk You've away You've read now, the orders. Yes, but... Then you know everything you need to. We'll take it from here. Now, you listen to me. I've worked on this far too hard and for far too long. If you think I'm gonna turn my back now just because you come in here waving a tight and an expensive suit, you can think again. This is my operation. If you want me gone, you're gonna have to drag me out of here. We haven't much time. Go. Like I said, things have changed. We don't have centuries anymore. We have hours. They dropped something from the ship. Yeah, we know. Four gas cans or no. some kind of a... A man. Or at least, that's what it looks like. That photo was from one of our drones. You tried facial recognition? Yes. It's quite interesting, actually. According to our findings, he's almost 200 years old. He was an archaeologist of some sort, lived in Bristol up until about 1854. And after that, records just well, stop. 1854? And then there's this. Is that what I think it is? Two more ships about to enter our atmosphere. Within the next 12 hours. So what now? Well, oh, the world's about to change. We're gonna have to change with it. What does he think he's doing? That's none of your concern now. I told you, that thing is dangerous! You have a little girl, don't you? Charlotte? Why don't you go be with her and leave this to us? I'll die before I abandon this operation. I had hoped to avoid that.
darling. Martha and Henry will be here soon and you still have to get washed up for dinner. Are they both coming, my love? Yes. Shame. She's coming. What's her name again? Edward. Coming, I'm coming. I say, Henry, I found something today that I might like to bring you in on. Do you think the museum might be interested? I don't know just yet. Maybe the university. Perhaps some of your chaps there could take a look at it? Darling, what is it? You're not the only one with news. Is he, Henry? No, darling. No, he's not. Well, I'll tell them. <laughs> I suppose it really should come from me. Quite. It seems there might be a new arrival in the Croy household. Really? <laughs> Oh, Martha, that's lovely. Congratulations. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Let's celebrate properly. I think we all need a refill. I'll see if she needs a hand. Uh, congratulations, my good man. Come by the university this week and we can discuss your findings. Certainly. I'll get home safe and congratulations. We're both honoured to be godparents. <laughs> Henry and I will happily return the honour when it's your turn. Good night. Maybe I can't give you what you want. Perhaps there's something wrong with me. No, Penny. You're perfect. We'll have the pitter-patter of tiny feet up and down these stairs soon enough. I married you, Penny Congridge. A son or a daughter will be a bonus in our lives. Of course, a daughter will have to like getting a little muddy so I can teach her the family trade. <laughs> Besides, I quite like trying. Like we did last night. <laughs> Edward. I don't think your mother would approve. Mother doesn't approve of anything. I know. I can still see her face glaring at me on our wedding day. <laughs> what were you talking to Henry about? Have you found something? Ah, that's work. I'd rather we... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> but only if you show me what you found. Bedroom time with my wife. A negotiation. You win. Close your eyes. Let me find it. I admit, it's fairly exciting. I think it might be a very big discovery. Well, I have a famous husband. No, oh, I hope so. Do you think Martha will be stunned into silence? Edward? 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 What we need is in here somewhere. One of these rooms is now a museum. And when we find this device, what then? We reconnect it to their crashed probe. When they see it's active again, they'll summon it back. That's the idea, anyway. 
But how's that going to help us? We don't send it back alone. Well, I guess we've got no choice but to believe you. Okay, for time, I suggest we split up. Dan, you and Chloe cover the ground floor. We'll cover the rest. No, I'm not letting him out of my sight. You go with Chloe. Dan and I will check the upper floors. Fine. But remember this. You turn on him, I'll turn on you. Understood? Let's hope we can prevent all that from happening, shall we? See you in a bit. It's eerie in this quiet. Yeah, I know. The whole city's turned into a ghost town since that ship arrived. What do you think it is that Edward's looking for? The key to everything, whatever that is. This looks promising. Can I help you, gentlemen? I knew someone would come eventually. I'm surprised it's taken this long. Wait a minute, this isn't what you think. I've worked here all my life. I remember chaos outside. But I'll see to it, this city's history is preserved, even if no one else cares. We don't mean you or this building any harm. All right, we just need to collect something of ours, and then we'll be gone. Uh, what's your story, trying to be that Dursey bloke? Dursey? My name's Edward Coleridge. He means Darcy. Uh, wait a minute, where do I know you from? Yes, his name is Edward Coleridge. He used to live here in Bristol. You've got an exhibit about him, can you help us find it? <laughs> So you're really not here to damage the exhibits? Stephen, do! About to show my brother a lesson, eh? No, no! It's not what it looks like! What if I do to you what you were going to do to him? Stephen, do! You really are him, aren't you? Yes, sir. I am. But you haven't aged a day. Well, this week is full of surprises. Here it is. So what is it, Edward? What is the key to everything? Sir. We will need your assistance in getting the contents of this display case. If something in here can help with what's going on out there. The only thing. The only issue is, I'm afraid I've misplaced the keys. Is that really necessary? Of course not. My mother-in-law gave my wife and I this for our wedding. I've always hated it. This is it, gentlemen. This is how we stop them. So that comes from another planet? From one of their probes. What happens to you once this is all over? I signal them with this and they send me back. There's nothing for me here anymore.
Edward? What's wrong? Who is that? Is this your wife? We did it. We did it. Time to go. We've got company. Dan! Dan? 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 Dan, what's wrong? We have to do something. Edward! Edward! What is it? It's getting worse. Your proximity to their technology set it off. We still have time. Come on. We need to go. Go! I'll distract these people whoever they are. Take the back stairs. And the fire escape will see you outside. Thank you. Good luck, my dear. Nice to meet you, Mr. Coleridge. I'm hurt bad, you gotta help me. Please. We were attacked, they stole our car. My friend, I think he's in trouble. I'm hurt really bad. Okay, who attacked you? Who's in trouble? <coughs> you are, bitch. The money's not be the last thing you ever do. Clear? Anyone else home? I didn't get that. You better not be lying to me. Place is empty. You sure? Let's go. Come on. So, Nicole, what do you know? About what? You know, we ran into your soldier friend. He said he didn't know anything either. Don't tell me he left you all alone on that farm. With just this to defend yourself. Does it even still work? Where is he? Now, if I were you, I'd answer my question. Is 
is about the warehouse. The truck. We didn't see anything. All we saw were bullets. Your friends tried to kill us. You know, there are other ways I can ask you. And somehow, I don't think you'd last as long as he did. All I saw was a, a, a box with lights on it. That's it. And who else have you shared this with? No one. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> government facility. They gutted it a few months ago. Me and some others were told to report back here when that ship arrived. We're not sure why. You work for them? I did. But these men came out of nowhere and they took the building. They, uh... They killed my colleague. Who are they? What do they want? I don't know. They haven't told me anything. What about you? About a week ago, me and my um, friend, we saw something. It must be about that. What did you see? It doesn't matter, because I'm going to find a way out of here. I'm Nicole. Tracy, but you're wasting your time. Yeah, well, I can't just sit around. Even if we get out of this room, we're outnumbered. Yeah, well, I have to try. Stone, secure the upper floors. You two start setting up down here. Sir, we just heard back from our people at the chapel. And we just missed them. I wouldn't worry. We're about to find out where they're going next anyway. Oh. You let me worry about that. It's your team? Yes, sir. They've all been briefed, but... I must admit, I'm still not clear on the operation myself. It seems like Bristol's being abandoned. Where's Gilroy? He had a delay, but he'll be here. And when he is, you'd expect this place to be secure. Get your man in position. Yes, sir. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Get to work. What now? What are your plans with the prisoner? Why? Do you want me to get a number for you? I just don't know why we need her. Good job you're not in charge of it. Tell me again, who is? As far as you're concerned, me. Is that going to be a problem? She doesn't know anything. The last time I checked, we were here to stop an attack. That's still why we're here. Changes need to be made. And we're here to make sure that happens smoothly. Now go make yourself useful. I already let you leave the other girl behind. Last we locked in here. I know about as much as anyone. You think they're here because of that? 
And what else could it be? Just before they took us, a man, he came to the house. He said he was... This is gonna sound so crazy. What? He said he was from the ship. A man? Yeah. They abducted him years ago. He's working with them now. They're gonna stop an invasion. By who? Someone much worse. <laughs> I know how it sounds, okay? So where did he go then? He said they'd been here before. To Bristol. The other race. And they left something behind. It was a, a ship or a probe or something. But he knows where to find it. And he can use it to stop them. Another ship where? Underneath the train station. <sighs> We've got to get out of here. I can't find my friends. I mean, they could be in trouble. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. What? <laughs> That was too easy. Must be a new record. Get everything you need? Yeah, I need to speak to Gilroy now. Sorry about the A. I'll get you back later. What should we do with this one? <laughs> She's all yours. I'll see you upstairs. Trust me, you're better off this way.
That was too easy. Does it look like me and him are on the same side? I can get you back to your friends, but we have to go now. I swear I'm telling the truth. What happened to you? I got held up. That's becoming a habit. Come on. Stop them just as much as you. Who are they? What do they want? They want to stop Coleridge. Wait, you know about him? I only just found out a few hours ago, but we had to do some digging. We know why he's here now. So do they. Stay here. I'm going to check to see if it's clear. But if they stop him, how are we going to stop the invasion? We don't. I don't understand. Why would anyone want an attack to happen? He's working with them. Hey. We think they're controlling people inside the government. Human army. Marks on the neck. You know about them. It's all good. Come on, it's this way. <clears throat> Disappointment, Carl. You know that? There's a war coming, and you chose the wrong side, mate. Take it to the station. But what about you? I'll be fine. Just be careful. There's one of them here. What? One of them. It's what we had locked away in the warehouse, but it escaped. It'll try and get back to his ship. How do we defeat it? It's an organic life form, just like us. Guard. Oh. 
It's okay. You've nothing to fear. They won't hurt you. They! They've evolved completely beyond any human form. Amazing sight, isn't it? They've been trying to slow the infection of people all over the city. Can you walk? Yeah. I'm good. For now, they can't stop it completely. Let's get to the probe. Time is of the essence. safe down here. When people couldn't evacuate the city, they went underground. It was the safest option, really. What is your name, madam? Oh, Margaret. How do you do, Margaret? Hopefully we'll all be back above ground soon enough. Who's that? Edward, Edward Coleridge. Coleridge. Right. Their safest option might have just put them on a direct path with the very thing they're trying to avoid. Fifty feet, north facing, past the coal chute. like I was just here yesterday. Ladies, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. We thank you for all your help. We couldn't have done this without your understanding. The world owes you. Just reading me. No, it's never read this strong before.
Oh, no, don't, don't get involved, sweetie. Come on, stay here. Dan? Leave her alone. Get back. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but mind your own business. Get away from her now! We need to look after each other down here. doing here? Where's Katie? Katie's fine. She's at the farm. One hates to interrupt, but the clock is ticking, people. It's no use. I'll have to talk you through it. In my bag. Take the mine. Run your finger over the display. When it glows red, it's armed. Be careful with that. If it goes off down here, there won't be much left. Attach it to the probe. device we took from the chapel. There's a round, empty socket in the cockpit. Once you've plugged that in, we won't have long before those other ships can detect it. They'll summon it back, and the mine will do the rest. It's working.
Let me see. I'm going to say something now that I suspect you're not going to like. But I'd like to remind you that time is pressing and there's no time for discussion or debate. What? Someone will have to go with it and hold the device in place. No. The probe won't work without it. And without the probe, we don't have a plan. I'll go. No! Chloe, I'm practically one of them. Not anymore. You're back now, with me. It's only right that I do this. I'll go. Stephen. Let me do it. I need you to watch over Katie. Stephen. You've got Chloe now. She needs you, as does Katie. And you need them more than you know. I'm the one. No. We haven't got time for this. Get to the farmhouse. Time for everyone to leave. Mines and alien spaceships do not make good bedfellows. <laughs> ah. Keep them safe. Pleasure. And thank you. Now go. I was wrong about you. Me too. Good luck, my good man. And give them hell. I plan to. Yeah. <laughs>